Thank you, Mrs. Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm particularly happy that my last official signature <laughs> as president of the European Investment Bank will be for the continuation and improvement of the risk sharing finance facility for research. I'm happy at least for three reasons. The first reason is that quite clearly this risk sharing finance facility is a very good example of the cooperation between the European Commission and the European Investment Bank. And I think this is quite important. During my 12 years as president of EIB, I always pleaded for a more systematic cooperation between the Commission and the Bank. Because the EIB has been created to support the policy objective of the European Union. And for me, it's obvious that this can be done only in close cooperation with the Commission. The second reason is because this resharing finance facility deals with a very important matter. As I'm sure all of you are convinced, but really we must realize that the future of Europe depends on our innovation capacity. And therefore, to find innovative instruments for financing of research and development is really crucial. It's one of the main axes of the so-called Europe 2020 strategy. And the third reason why I'm quite happy is because I think that this resharing finance facility is a kind of prototype for this joint financing instrument which we should develop under the next mutual multi-annual financial framework 2014-2020. I think it would be a win-win scheme if we could develop more of this type of instruments. What we will sign today is an amendment to the existing RSFF with three changes. First changes is that we will go from a project by project approach to a portfolio approach with the Commission taking the first loss piece and the EIB taking the residual risk. This will still increase the leverage effect. To give you an idea, till now, with RSFF, we have approved loans for more than 9 billion euro. Using less than 500 million of the EU budget. And with this 9 billion of loans, we finance investment in research and development for more than 20 billion. So you can see the impact of less than 500 million euro from the EU budget supporting more than 20 billion of investment in research and development. So this is the kind of leverage we intend to, to develop and this uh, new amendment will still increase this leverage. The second change is that till now with RSFF we did not reach the small and medium sized enterprise. So we have no cre creating a new window, a new instrument called RSI for SMEs which will be managed by the European Investment Fund which is a joint subsidiary of uh, the bank and the commission, and the European Investment Fund, which is specialized in dealing with SME financing, uh, will be in charge of developing this new instrument for SMEs. And the third change, as you mentioned, Mr. Commissioner, is that we will also open a dedicated window for financing of research infrastructure. So I'm quite happy to be able to sign today with you. And again, I'm convinced that this is a win-win situation. With the same amount of budget, we can finance, we, we can support much more investment. For the bank, with the same amount of capital, we can support much more investment. It's really a win-win situation. So I'm quite happy that the Commission and the bank will pursue this cooperation. Thank you very much.